We have seen Bitcoin exchange traded funds ETFs in the past, and if institutional money were to enter this market, it is possible that we would never see another bull run. However, even if it does occur, you shouldn't freak out. Simply said, it indicates that these markets will expand from $2 trillion to $7 trillion to $10 trillion, which indicates that we will most likely experience returns that are 10 times higher on all of the assets that we possess. These exciting days, which will begin this year and continue until 2025, are something that I am looking forward to immensely. When does the first parabolic move that elevates these alts by two to five times take place? When does the cooldown phase begin and when does the parabolic blow off top take place? This is something that needs to be defined very specifically if we are going to see alts move this year. I will bring up the chart for you at the conclusion of the video so that you are aware of exactly where we are in each season and what you should anticipate happening. Does it appear to be on the verge of occurring if it has not yet occurred? Okay, without further ado, let's get this party started. I have you taken care of. During the past 24 hours, the price of Bitcoin, which is presently trading at $1.639,188, has decreased by 2%. At the moment, the price of Ethereum is $2,755, which represents a decrease of around 15%. US dollars are falling below 99 cents at dollar peg, while XRP is having a minor decline as it struggles to retest and maintain that 60C area once more. Both of these events are occurring simultaneously. Right now, everything that comes in between is nothing but noise. The most important numbers for you are 65.66 and 75 cents. People have told me that I am insane for believing that XRP would be significantly higher than a dollar, even higher than its all-time high from 2017, at this time of the year. These are the same stats that I have been preaching for months now. I told them that it is not time for people to get a little too enthusiastic since Bitcoin smashed its all-time high before having the only thing that is indicating to me that institutional money is here. I said that it is not time when people just got a little too thrilled. As well as the fact that this situation is likely to be a total cryptocurrency super cycle, even if the market cup is currently at $2.26 trillion, we are not even close to reaching our goal of reaching that level by the end of the year. On the other hand, I believe that the parabolic blow-off top will be released in the summer of 2025. I am guessing that it will be between four and a half and five, just like Brad is. People, for about $20, you can obtain a beautiful tumbler that has laser engraving on it. Are you not interested in? Using cryptocurrency, you can pay for it with a credit card or a debit card from the comfort of your own home. In spite of the fact that this tale was largely overlooked, the young man who was compelled to pay the sum of $300,000 for the BitBoy schooling ultimately ended up being sued and making a sizable amount of money for himself. As a result of pushing Binance, it is highly likely that Jimmy Butler also suffered a loss. In the event that he has not already done so, he has. Discarded this XRP. There is no question that Ripple, a software business, is the unrivaled leader in the cryptocurrency market. Ripple is in the process of integrating a new financial system known as the United States Fast Payments Council. This new system is being developed in collaboration with some of the most influential organizations in the world in order to program, review, and finally implement it. As a result of the fact that Palo is backing the USD, I have frequently tied this to the testing that is currently taking place in that country. When it comes to the United States dollar and XRP, we are aware that the testing is proceeding very well and Palau has a strong preference for the BIs of the International Monetary Fund. Are you familiar with Ross Liao and Brad Gullinghouse? Performing on stage in the year 2018, although Ross was somewhat at a loss for words, he managed to break it down. He stated, well, it's easy to understand. When a nation accepts cryptocurrency as its currency, the International Monetary Fund IMF will become engaged and we are moving closer to that point, even if it is outdated. It is still very important to keep in mind. These significant gatherings were usually attended by Brad Gullinghouse and Christine Laggard, who were always seen walking hand in hand and neck in neck. The two of them were on the same mind, the SBI, the World Economic Forum. The Digital Pound Foundation and the Digital Association are all members of this organization. It is important to keep in mind that the lawsuit that Ripple filed against the SEC revealed that there were more than 1,700 partnerships. The fact that we do not know the identity of these MDAs may lead some people to argue that they are not MDAs yet. There are presently over 1,700 of them on XRP. This morning, a new article was published to discuss the growing influence that non-financial tokens, NFTs, and cryptocurrencies are having on traditional financial markets. The ability to get an understanding of the dynamics of financial markets, the junction of conventional stock markets, and the fast-emerging cryptocurrency business presents itself as an exciting prospect. 
The financial markets always have a lot of moves. Significant participants in assets, such as Ethereum's Bitcoin, have emerged as a result of the spectacular expansion that the cryptocurrency sector has undergone. This expansion has complicated both the monitoring functions of the government and the dynamics of the market. Traditional investing. Methods have also been added to the expanding list. The non-fungible token NFT market experienced a significant expansion in 2021, with sales exceeding $25 billion. Over the course of the past week, the XRP ledger has provided substantial evidence that cryptocurrencies are here to stay and that non-fungible tokens will continue to exist. Choosing not to provide an incentive is the wisest option. An incentive is the best form of incentive, in my opinion, because other from the fact that it is a beautiful piece of art, what is the point of holding a non-monetary transaction NFT? Instead, the CEO of Tether, whose value is currently undergoing a substantial decrease, was jailed for managing a Telegram platform in which users were essentially permitted to do anything they wished and even recruit terrorists. This is something that many of you are aware of. This is not something that should be observed because the value of Tether has decreased by 35% over the course of the past 90 days. It is my apologies, but 11% in the past three months and 14% in the most recent hour. It is possible that this is the bottom, but before moving on to the next step, you should thoroughly analyze this. At the moment, we are in the chop range, my fellow men. Following the conclusion of this chop range, which is most likely going to occur a little bit later on in this year, we are going to witness the very first parabolic move. At that point, the initial parabolic move did take place. Your alternative moves at a rate of two to five times, and some of them will not even be higher than the all-time highs. As you can see from 2017 to 2021, and the current phase, this is the season of alternative cryptocurrencies. What exactly is the second phase? There are a number of chops, and then we get the first explosive move, which is going to bring us anywhere from two to five times the time. In 2021, the same thing occurred, and a great deal of parabolic moves were made upward. I believe that if XRP were to perform a fivefold at this point in time, there are going to be a lot of people who are going to be kicking and screaming, and they are all there. We would be floating right about the all-time high, but they are all there. Considering how bad this bull run is, it's at an all-time high. This is over. In a short amount of time, you are going to observe Twitter. Becoming really unpleasant. And I am here to tell you that it is not over at this moment because what is going to happen next after that correction and we discover a retest of the new base, the new resistance lines, we will have that. I am here to tell you that it is not done. It is anticipated that the top will be a parabolic blow off around the summer of 25. Take a look. Anything that goes up must eventually fall back down. At the same time, nothing can move in a straight line. In no way is it healthy. Therefore, we will ascend, we will descend, we will establish a new base, and then we will erupt once more following that. These are the predictions for the following year. Is there going to be any movement this year? Of course, I continue to believe that Bitcoin will reach $100,000 this year. Absolutely, I do. My prediction is that grown-ups are going to die. To what heights do the adults climb? Only time will tell. But a two to five times increase would be completely normal in accordance with the bull cycles that have occurred in the past. Make sure you keep an eye on the market and stay away from the negative comments that are being made on Twitter. 